How is it going guys and welcome back to the channel and today we are going over the legendary lost sector gilded precept so we have solar and void shields with barrier and unstoppable going for the suspended clutch strand build like usual so make sure you've got your shackle grenade on just thread of propagation isolation generation and continuity with your two aspects weapons la monarch honestly if you've got it use it it just makes lost sectors much more easier at the minute because they are sort of like end game level hard right now for some reason. Retrofit Escapade. If you've got the shaped one, happy days. If you haven't, it doesn't matter. Actually, you can bring any machine gun you want in here. I've just got this one because it's the one that I've been using. And I've just got Disparity, pure and simply, in case they ever got their shields up, which they are not going to. And Assassin's Cow, just because I'm a hunter. And if I'm about to die, I can just finish an enemy and get my shields back. So our two surges, Avoid and Strand, which is why we're running a bit of Void. Remember, enemies throw grenades significantly more often. And that's about it, really. Oh, an Overcharge Glaive. You get 25% bonus if you want to run Glaive. So first off, coming in here, you're going to have enemies just to your left. And you're going to get a Barrier Champion straight away. So if you just tuck in here, you might be able to get... There we go. Look, Barrier's coming out straight away. Just try not pushing forward too much. Oh, he's already seen us. Oh, I'm just going to tuck in behind here then just so the enemies can't really catch me. And then when they're suspended and stunned, because unstoppables get stunned with suspend, just work your magic with your gun, reload, that suspend's probably gonna run out. And then I'm just gonna give you another one. Honestly, suspend is so busted right now, it's probably gonna get absolutely nerfed to hell in a few months. Or well, probably quicker knowing Bungie, but we might as well just keep abusing it whilst we have it. Honestly though, I hope they don't nerf it. It's a fun little build to have, especially for us casual players, you know. Gives us a bit of a chance to defeat endgame content like Lost Sectors, since they've upped the difficulty to like 100. We'll just kill these Scions here, because they will get us. No more enemies. That's a boss room just to the right, you can have a quick peek in there. It's not too bad actually, the boss room, it's pretty simple. The rooms leading up to the boss, that can be a bit of trouble. You get two enemies here on the left. Take these out before jumping down. And then for me, we're about to go into the most trickiest room of this legendary lost sector. So when these pillars here come down, you will get enemies spawn out of there. So keep here, and then that way you won't get enemies hitting you from the back. So we're just going to work our way with these enemies here. If we don't die by grenades. Christ. I'm really hoping that I don't die because I don't want to do this again. Although we don't get a flawless triumph for this. You only get it for Master. So if you'd like to see me have a go at Master, then let me know down in the comments, guys, and I'll give it a go and record it for you and see how we get on. Maybe come up with some new loadouts. But as remember, though, this is a casual run for, like, the normal player. This isn't for the elite players. Do you know what? I'm just going to throw that over there because they're doing my head in. I do. Right. That's these enemies up here can be a nightmare. The scions as well, you need to really keep an eye out for them because they will hurt you. They're not sniping you, they will sneak up behind you and they will slap you into oblivion. Especially these shielded guys as well. These phalanxes, we all know about them. That idea here is... Oh, by the way, I am running... Um... I'll take care of these first. I'll finish what I was going to say off in a minute. I am running... should have done this at the beginning, shouldn't I, really? 
Am I running double solo? No, I've just got one solar resistant on. That's all I've got on. I've got nothing else. Sorry, guys. I should have done it at the beginning of the video. My bad. I just... Just try and cover from these. If he hits you with them, that isn't going to kill you, so I wouldn't worry. It will slow you, but as long as you're in cover, you'll be fine. Just try and take these guys out in the middle, because they can jump up whilst you're dealing with a barrier, and again, you will get... You will get done in. If there's any here... Yeah, let's try and come back a bit. Let's deal with him. He sometimes keeps cowering behind that pillar there. But yeah, look, he's done it again. He always does it. Come on, buddy. Alright, that's him done. You don't need to worry about that ball disappearing and doing that again. That will stay there so it doesn't just go away. That enemy is dead for good. Oh, that barrier is getting too close. There we go. Right, now we're good to take care of him. I think that Scion... Just jump down to the side, so we'll need to be careful of that. Did he not? Did he get done in? No, that's good. Barriers are a lot easier to take down than unstoppables. So, if you can suspend them, very, very simple to take down. They'll never not outlast the suspend and get their shields back. But it's always worth taking a barrier weapon, just in case. Because if they do get their shields back, that is a pretty much big pain in the ass. So we're... Nearly six minutes in now. Not doing too bad. I think that room is the one that's going to slow a lot of people up. It slows me up. There probably is a way you could just run right in there and blitz it. Maybe get Osteo, Striga. That would probably be another good weapon. Enemy spawn in here. Right. These are <clears throat> void shields. You've got a barrier here, but we can try and bait him into the doorway. See that Scion just there peeking behind him, so I just want to cover myself so I don't get shot. Reload, get ready for him to outlast the suspend. And another one. And as you can see, our grenade's going back up on the bottom left. Brilliant. That's what's so good about this strand build. I see an enemy shine on the radar. And with this room, you just stay here. Just keep peeking with the bow. And we are nearly at the boss room. So initially, just run straight in and hide behind this pillar here. Then when you hit a stomp, that's fine. Just run back. And you're just going to peek. Literally, you're literally going to do this. Just peek your head over the stairs. Can you see the missiles coming? That's fine. You're going to get clobbered by one or two. But you're not going to die. And I would if I... If you can see them... Take these little fuckers down. So keep shooting the boss... And if you see any enemies peeking to the left or right, that is absolutely fine. You can get rid of them and then concentrate back onto the boss. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll get target lock and fourth times activated. Try and get his health down a little bit more to that. Past the first line, more enemies are going to spawn, which is fine because you're in a good place. He will jump back in a minute, which makes things a lot easier at this point. You can actually see a bit clearer. God. That screen is so bright. Wow, nearly, nearly. There you go, science down. Let's 
give him another go. He's going to jump back any minute. You have a few more enemies. Although at this point, there is no more champions. So what you could do, if you want to, you can take that boss out, open that chest, and you'll get it. But for the purposes of the video, and for people that might not feel too comfortable running into the area right now, that don't want to die, we will just carry on like normal. Now, behind these two columns here on the left, you're going to be one shielded guy here, which... We're not going to take that one out. We're going to take this one out. Just keep peeking. Let the monarchs tick damage. Keep hacking away. Little phalanx there. I mean, Scion, sorry. And then we're just going to peek our heads around here. Keep doing damage. And the only enemies that are going to come out after this are little dogs. So you can just use your super. I didn't realise there were small enemies there. Easily dealt with, with Le Monarch. And there we go. That is it, guys. You can stay around and take the dogs out if you want to. But honestly, I really wouldn't bother. It doesn't matter. You've done all the champions. Did I? I didn't get that, did I? No. Crap. Alright, we'll get it now, though. There we go. Job done. Oh, and another worm husk. There we go. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that, guys. If you have, please hit the like button, guys. And as always, if I've tickled your fancy, maybe subscribe. And until the next video, take care.